Okay, so now after you have glued and removed some pages so that you have some sections to work on, um, you're going to now be preparing the surface that so that you can paint or draw or collage on top of this. Most books, especially encyclopedias or larger books that have pictures, have a glossy coating and all the words and stuff in the text make it so it would be a lot of background and just distracting stuff uh, for your images. So in order to get rid of all of that, we're going to be using this wonderful and magical substance called gesso. So it's G-E-S-S-O. So gesso is uh, it's a, a type of paint and it dries permanent. So if you notice, I laid down some plastic. Definitely wear an apron. Uh, if it gets in your clothes and dries, it will not come out ever. So definitely take precautions when you're using it um, for the tables and your clothing. But it's nice that it's permanent because then you can go back and paint on top of it and the gesso won't mix with your paint once it's been dry. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so gesso is an awesome material. It provides a good foundation for uh, painting, for drawing, collaging, anything. And it also will block out the text. So you are going to be using, um, covering the whole surface with the gesso, so it's a good idea to use a big brush. Um, and one thing to keep in mind is that with gesso, you can actually create textures on your page. Um, I've seen some really cool textures get made, so if, if you look closely while you're brushing it on, you'll see that your paintbrush makes a texture. But you could also be more intentional about it and dab at it to make peaks, or you could do swirly kind of designs with your paintbrush. So kind of play around with it and have fun. But the main reason that we gesso is to just cover up the text and give you a nice even surface for painting and drawing. Um, again, remember that it is permanent and it won't wash out of your clothes. Another thing you could do if, you, if you're feeling adventurous um, is once you've covered your book surface with the gesso, you could paint on it with tempera paint or any kind of paint, even watercolor and it will give it a nice just so subtle tint instead of being a white surface for your artwork you could have like light blue or whatever color so um, and then the other thing is you should plan on only just sewing one flat area of your book per class because now that I've just sewed it if I went and closed the book these two pages would then become stuck together and the only way to get them apart would be to rip them. So when when you do when you're done with your gesso layer you are going to need to leave it open to dry. So make sure that you spend the last five to ten minutes of class uh, to gesso a new section so that next time or that for your next class you'll have areas ready to work on. Okay? Okay so after you've gessoed your page, um, you need to make sure you wash your brush that you've gessoed with very carefully. Uh, like I said, the gesso, when it dries, it's permanent on your clothes. It'll also be permanent on my brush. So if you don't get all the gesso out of this area, back by the ferrule of the brush, so all the bristles need to be clean, it, it will ruin the brush. So make sure that you spend um, few extra minutes of washing brushes and definitely use soap when you're done. Um, same thing with your hands and the table. 